Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the new feature in 3.4 that allows you to share your artboards up to a web page on your local network that allows you to view these artboards on any device, computer, or phone. So let's get going on that right now. Now, one of the best new features in 3.4 is the ability to essentially send your entire project here up to a URL that's available on your own network. Now, this is super easy. Simply by seeing this share button here in your toolbar, we can select this and click enable local sharing. Now what you can see is it opens a tab on your local browser with an address here. Now we have several ways of getting to this address, but if you're using Chrome and you're signed in, and you're signed into Chrome on your device, there's a really super easy way to do so. So you can see this URL and let's head to my phone here so you can see this in action. So I have a new tab open up on my device and as you can see we can come in here and select the recent tabs. Now under recent tabs uh, you'll find all the devices you're logged into. For instance I'm logged in to uh, um, this Hackintosh here. It's one of these links here. So as you can see in our browser on your computer it will say the name of the document. For instance we have SketchFlex prototype is the name of the document itself. So we could simply type in that long URL that we saw it was 10.0.1.2 and then colon 8080, that sort of thing. And you can certainly get to this page as long as your phone is on the same internet network. That's an important point here, is you need to be on the correct internet network as their computer that you're broadcasting this from. But as you can see in my recent tabs, we do have the latest Sketch Flex prototype right here. So I can just simply select that and as long as I'm on the same network, you'll be seeing your artboards. Now this is great, we have access to every single artboard, including the one that is actually the phone layout. So if we select this, it's gonna open this up in a modal. Now, this dimensions aren't exactly the same as what it is on this device. For instance, I think the phone layout we used was for an iPhone, this is a Nexus 6P, but I can simply pinch and zoom and see this a little bit more of what it would actually be like on a device rather than just having this be on a computer screen and not a device at all. You can also swipe between artboards like this if you want as well. But as you can see, it's definitely a nice little feature to have into this. We no longer just have screen mirroring on iOS, but you can also broadcast this now to a URL and access it on your own network on any device. Any other computer, any other tablet, anything you want, just type in that same URL, make sure you're on the same network, and you will have access to this screen. Now in addition here, we also have this full screen button. If we select this, you can see we just go into a sort of a full screen mode. We can select our artboard. It makes seeing all this just a little bit easier. So I think Bohemian Coding did a great job with this. This is uh, one of my new favorite features in Sketch. You're gonna be able to see your designs. And now, even if I wanted to take some promotional shots of this, right? Like, let's say I wanted to take a, a photograph of what this application looks like on the screen, I can do that. And it's not just going to be a prototype, uh, you're going to actually be photographing something that's real on a real screen. Cool, so this is sharing a Sketch artboard on your network, and you can use it on any device within the new Sketch 3.4 update. Check it out. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. If you want to help support me making free tutorials, you can always head to leveluptuts.com and subscribe to a pro subscription. Now you can get downloadable videos and an ad-free experience, but very soon you're also going to get live streaming of premium content and downloadable code examples. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.